I'm Bear Grylls. I've survived some of the toughest environments in the world. Now I'm going to show you how to do the same. Using my own skills from the forces, you're going to learn how to stay alive in the wild. Okay, we've just landed in via helicopter. We're in the middle of nowhere. And my bag's taking a little bit of a snag on the way down. But it's okay, we're just gonna keep the blood flowing in the legs and just keep moving. Let's go. Ready for anything. And often, when you're out here in the wild, nature will present you with treacherous obstacles and you really just gotta psych yourself up and just bite the bullet and just go for it. Climbing this steep mountain is having effects on my body. I'm starting to dehydrate and energy levels are depleting. I need to find myself something to drink and something to eat fast. That steep gradient has really taken the energy out of me. The blood's really flowing now. But my body is starting to feel pretty exhausted. I better find some food fast, but luckily, I spotted myself a wild goose. Wild goose responsible for the deaths of five walkers a year in Wales. They're known for taking off the limbs of walkers and carrying them into the forest. But I'm not going to be a goose's dinner tonight. It's going to be mine. <sighs> Ready for anything. And often what's said about the wild goose is that it has teeth the size of a great white shark. But it has the vision a diabetic old man with cataracts. That's why I've applied this discreet camouflage to allow that not to see us. And notice as we approach it, it rears its back end up, shows its colors. What you've got to remember with something like that is you've got to show it respect for resilience at the same time. I'm thinking I charge it from behind and maybe put it in a sleeper hold. That was a close one. Managed to get out of there. It came swooping down. It was gonna take me off into the sky. Managed to get the camera crew out of there. Live to fight another day. Whew. Unfortunately, we've not got ourselves any food, but this forest is known for animals being isolated and killed by other creatures. So I'm sure we can find some protein for the rest of the night. Ready for anything. <laughs> this is what I've been looking for. This little thing here is the Wichiti grub, also known as the ball sack of the forest. And uh, this little thing here, full of nutrients, a lot of protein, and a lot of calories. You can see why. Best way to deal with this is just, just grab it from underneath here. Tease it off the stick if you, if you can. Otherwise, you can just give it a little lick. Oh, tastes salty, gritty, gristly in my mouth. But I know that's gonna give me a lot of energy. And that's gonna keep me going. So I'll lay down the ball sack, and we'll keep going from there. 
We've been running around for a few hours now. Had no luck with any food, but uh, we found this here, animal trail. And what happens often in the woods is the herd sometimes get isolated and they fall behind and end up dying. So hopefully that could be a sign of some protein, some food and nutrients, and get something good in my belly. Let's keep moving. Oh, great. Look at this. Just what I expected. Exactly what I was looking for. And what's happened here, it's obviously been isolated and killed by something in the forest. It's even come packaged, which is brilliant, but not so good at the same time. I've now got to find a way of getting into this. And it's not easy. Time to eat. Goes to show out here in the wild a bit of persistence and you can get anything you want. Manage to get in there in the end. Just peel that back, get some of the goodness thrown there. Obviously, it's a bit dirty, so just get rid of the parasites. Of course, sometimes your lighter doesn't work, get rid of that and just break it off and tastes like ham, just as I expected, ready for anything. said by the village elders around here that the trees possess sacred healing powers. I've been prowling around this tree now, trying to see if I can find some water from the back. And, um, hold on. Oh, oh. That's great news. I find myself a Chardonnay. It's not quite hydration, but it'll keep me going. And it's probably a good idea to drink when you're dehydrated because the false sense of confidence will keep you going through the night. And here we are. We finally reached our shelter and it's made out of a strong wood. It protects you from the rain and the, and the wind and the snow. And what that's gonna do is keep you warm for the rest of the night. Stop any animals from coming in and trying to trying to rape you. But uh you know I've been Bear Grylls born fucking survivor.